roots, they come out of trees, they suck water up out of the ground, and if you're a badass, you can integrate them like there's no tomorrow. So check it out, people. What if we got a little thing like this? Uh, please find the integral of x times the square root of 2x minus 7 uh, dx. Oh, <laughs> yes. <sighs> if we have this, then here's the thing, people. There's none of our integral rules that match this guy. It looks too complicated. We could try u substitution. The obvious thing to try would be um, maybe u equals the inside, right? If you do u substitution and there's an inside, u's got to be the inside. And if you work through that, here's what will happen. It will fail miserably. Not all of your x's will cancel out. And so that's a good clue that u substitution is not the way to go for this puppy. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to integrate by parts instead. When we integrate by parts, we're going to do the usual thing. We're going to say u equals something and dv equals something else. And now we've got to pick the u and the dv. So here's how we're going to do it. Um, we want the u to be something where the derivative becomes easier. Now, we have two pieces to choose from. We've got the x, and we've got the square root thingy. And now, if we take the derivative of x, then that definitely becomes easier. The derivative of x is just 1. So taking the derivative of x will make our lives easier. That seems like a good choice. Now, how about the derivative of the square root function? That doesn't seem like it'll become easier. In fact, that might even become harder. Well, all right, that's something to think about. Now, let's go and examine what our dv could be. Our dv could be x. And dudes, when you take the integral, when, whenever you choose your dv, you're going to have to take the integral. And when you take that integral, it shouldn't make your life much harder. Well, if we take the integral of x, we get x squared, or, you know, 1 half x squared. And that doesn't make our lives much harder, but it's a little bit harder. Um, now, same kind of deal with the integral of the square root. Uh, doing that is going to make our lives a little bit harder. So no matter what we take the integral of, our lives become a little bit harder. That's unfortunate. But because of that, let's just think about what makes the derivative easiest. And the thing that makes the derivative work out the nicest if we, is if we just pick u equals x. So dudes, just like always, um, if that doesn't make a lot of sense to you, then you can play around with both options. And if you pick the wrong one, it just simply won't work. But if you pick u equals x, life will work out nicely. And dudes, the reason why is because what makes the integral easier? Well, nothing really makes the integral part easier. But u equals x, that makes your derivative part a lot easier. So let's just go ahead and try that. If we pick u equals x, then we've got to calculate our du. And dudes, our du is just 1 times dx. So let's just write du equals dx. Now, dv, therefore, it has to be what's left over, which is square root of 2x minus 7 dx. And that means that we have to take the antiderivative of that puppy in order to figure out what v is. And dudes, I'm not going to lie to you, that is not the simplest antiderivative in the world. It's not hard, but it's not the simplest. And in particular, we can't just find the antiderivative going from dv to v. We can't just do this using a simple rule. We actually have to do u substitution in order to figure out this piece of the puzzle. So, uh, no use moaning and groaning. Let's just write down use u sub. Yes, let's do that. All right, so dudes, if we want to do u sub, our goal, just so we understand it, is to figure out the integral of square root of 2x minus 7 dx. And just like when we would do our derivative charts for more complicated derivatives, this is just to find a piece of the puzzle. Once we find the integral of this thing, that'll enable us to plug in for v. And once we find that, we can do integration by parts and then finish the task. All right, now dudes, um, I'm going to leave this to you to fill in the steps, make sure you know how to do integration by, or uh, use substitution on this puppy. What you should end up getting, though, is that, um, oh, maybe I should have thought of this ahead of time. All right, let's see. It's going to be 2x minus 7 to the 3 halves power, and then um, multiplied by 3 over 2, multiplied by 2. We're probably going to have to divide the entire thing by 3, and then we're going to have a plus c. Okay, um, so I think that's right. And assuming that's right, we're going to go ahead and put that in for v. So let's go up here and say that our v is going to be 1 third, 2x minus 7 to the 3 halves. And dudes, when you're going from dv to v, you don't need your plus c. So we're not even going to write that there. All right. Now, dudes, take a deep breath, pause here, and try to understand as best as you can why we have this chart. We have the chart of u and du and v and dv. Make sure you understand why we have that, and in particular, how we went from dv all the way back up to v. 
once you have that clear in your brains, let's proceed. Because we have this nice fancy chart, um, what we want to do is just plug it into the formula for integration by parts. And so let's write that out. The formula looks like integral u dv equals u times v minus integral of v du. Now, if you go back up and check, um, u and v, those are easy enough to plug in. u is just x. v is 1 third, 2x minus 7 to the 3 halves. And then we're going to minus the integral of v du. And that is just the integral of, well, du is just dx. That makes our lives a little bit easier. This is just 2x, wait, mm -mm -mm, 1 third, 2x minus 7 to the 3 halves dx. All right, dudes, if you take the chart that we have and you plug it into the integration by parts formula, this is the craft you should get. So let's write that over here, give ourselves a little more space. Oh, and let's simplify that so it's like 1 third x, 2x minus 7 to the 3 halves, minus. All right, and now, dudes, let's simplify this just as minus 1 third, bring that outside the integral, 2x minus 7 to the 3 halves, dx. So dudes, we have reduced it down to this. We have half the answer. We've got this guy right there. And to find the other half, we need to evaluate that integral. And that integral does not look completely easy, but you have to recognize, people, it does look a lot easier than this big gross thing that we started with, where you have different things all multiplied together and stuff. Here we only have one thing, and it's a chunk raised to a power. So we've made our lives a little bit easier. And in fact, we can now solve this guy just by simple u substitution. So um, dudes, if you ever use u substitution to fill in your integration by parts chart, like we did here, that's a big clue that you might also have to use u substitution to figure out your final integral. I know these guys are fun, right? This problem may seem like it's going on forever, but once you get the hang of it, it'll really take you like two, three minutes tops. Okay, now let's go ahead and suck it up. Use u sub, u sub. When we do u sub, we're just gonna pick u equals the inside as we always do. And by the way, guys, this was, um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do this out because you guys can probably do it, but it can't hurt to see it. So here's the u. Uh, if you find your du, it's going to be 2 times dx. Solve for dx, and you get um, um, du divided by 2. Nice and simple. Oh, and by the way, guys, don't confuse this u with the u that we used above. It's a lot of u's, but meh, whatever. You get the idea. We've got this, and so when we're trying to calculate this integral, then we're going to get one third integral of u to the three halves times, and we plug in for dx, we get du over two. Let's go ahead and pull out that over two. So one third and the one half becomes one sixth integral of u to the three halves du. And that, my dear puppies, is just one over six times. Now it's all nice and simple. We can use the rule. Integral of u to the three halves is going to be u to the five halves times 1 divided by 5 halves, which is just the flip, 2 fifths. Let's combine the fractions. Um, we get 2 on top and 30 on bottom, u to the 5 halves. Let's simplify that. 2 over 30 is 1 over 15. And we can plug back in for our u. Remember, our u was 2x minus 7. So this is 2x minus 7 to the 5 halves. All right, now dudes, we figured out that last piece, and this basically means we're done with the problem. Let's just plug in where we need to. So the final answer is gonna come from this piece minus the answer that we got for this piece. So we have, uh, let's see, 1 third x times 2x minus seven to the, I don't even remember, was it three halves? It was totally three halves, to the three halves power minus, don't forget that we had a minus coming from right there. And we're going to have minus that answer that we just finished getting. And that answer that we just finished getting is this sucker. So it's going to be minus 1 over 15, 2x minus 7 to the 5 halves. All right. Now the last thing, dudes, is plus C. And then bam, we are done. All right. That's the answer. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but dudes, as long as you keep in mind that you're doing integration by parts and then doing U substitution when you need to, this guy's not so bad. Do it on your own. I promise it'll go faster. Good night.